Welcome to Eagle Complete Course. In this video, we will learn about how to arrange the PCB layout board, like the component placement and routing the components we have here. We will also learn everything related to the PCB board design. First thing we should know before we design our PCB board is the rules and tips for placement of components on the PCB. The first one is it is better to group the components by function. For example, power management ICs should be grouped in the same power management section. It also applies to similar devices that develop a fair amount of heat and generate high current. Then, the power supply section and all components that generate electromagnetic noise or radiation should be kept separate from the analog and digital parts which have sensitive signals. The second is knowing which components to place near the edges of the PCB. The component that shall surely be positioned near the edges of the PCB are the connectors especially if screwing is required. This avoids unwanted contact of cables with other components on the PCB and simplifies board assembly and installation. The next tip is to leave enough space for the traces. Even though nowadays electronic devices require PCBs to have a compact size, but there's still a limit to make a very small PCB because we still have to consider the tracks. So, that's why we have to ensure that there is sufficient space on the PCB for the passage of copper traces. Those are several tips before we start the placement of our components. I will tell you other tips related to PCB design along this video. Now, I'm going to start placing my components here. To move each of the parts, we can click the move command here and just click the origin of the part we want to move.
So, I think this is the component placement I desired. Now, we're going to route all the traces to connect each component. To do that, we can click the root command here. When you click it, you will notice some changes on the parameter toolbar on the top. As you can see here, they have three modes of routing. The default is the walk around obstacle or this icon in the middle. In this mode, the routing engines takes care on the design rules. If there is an obstacle along the route path, Eagle will calculate a new path for your trace. Then, this icon here is Ignore Obstacle Mode. This mode is the classic Eagle routing mode. Here we have to take care on all the design rules by our own. This means taking care on clearance, net classes, copper, dimension distances, and overlaps. But we have full control over the routing path. The last mode is the push obstacle mode. This mode allows you to push away other tracks while you're routing. Beside the routing mode, we can see this drop-down to select the wire band. It has several options here, but I recommend you choose this one, which has about 45 degrees angle. Then for the track width, is depending on what kind of tracks you're routing. For example, the power track must have thicker width than the signal track. For my project, I will use 8mm width for the power track and 6mm width for the other tracks. This drop-down which has green circle in it used to select the shape of VS we want to use. They provide the square shape, circle, and octagonal shape. And here for the drill size, diameter, and radius of the VS, I will keep it default. Now, after we're activating the root command and set all the setting, we can select the pad or air wire here to start and just simply connect one part to the other. In case you want to change the routing layer for the next segment, click the middle mouse button. It will automatically add VIA as a bridge to another layer of PCB board. Then, in case you want to reroute a part of an already routed traces, you use the rip up command in the command toolbar. As the routing proceeds, it is helpful to run the rasness command frequently in order to recalculate all the air wires. Now, I will start to route my PCB design.
If you found this kind of junction, it will be bad if we make the 90 degree track junction like this. So, it will be better if we add this 45 degree track in the both side of this junction until it form a triangle like you can see in your screen right now. So, here is the final result of our PCB design.